Well, this could be the biggest advance in decades in the treatment of type 1 diabetes, a disease that affects 3 million Americans. Today, researchers said they have developed a way to get diabetics to produce their own insulin using stem cells. Here's Dr. John LaPook. When I wake up in the morning, I immediately check my sugar. 13-year-old Finn Darty uses a blood sugar monitor and insulin pump, both attached to his body, to keep his glucose in check. Darty was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes when he was two years old. Pretty much my earliest memories have been with diabetes, and so I don't really know any other way. Scientist Doug Melton knows exactly what Finn's life is like. Both of Melton's children, now in their 20s, have type 1 diabetes. He's devoted his career to using stem cells to find a cure. His research out today is a leap forward. The idea itself isn't so complicated, but the practice of it turned out to be difficult. It took us more than 15 years to reach the goal that we've recently achieved. In type 1 diabetes, the immune system attacks and destroys the insulin-producing cells of the pancreas. Melton's team turned human stem cells into insulin-producing cells in the lab and transferred them into diabetic mice. The cells functioned like healthy ones, regulating the mice's sugar with no need for insulin injections. Six months later, their blood sugar was still under control. What's now very important to know is how will they behave inside a person. And so a little bit of hmm. light from... Melton will be working to test the treatment in humans as soon as possible. It's fun to think about a day when people won't be using syringes or insulin pumps anymore that they'll have a natural mechanism of their body's own cells making the insulin they need. Melton says human trials are several years away. One reason this approach is so promising is that insulin producing cells are better at finely regulating blood sugar than insulin injections and should help patients avoid complications like low blood sugar. A lot of medical news today, John, thank you very much.